Hello everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Saturday, October 30, 2010, and this is uh, an update on the bat cell. But uh, first, I want to send out a special thank you to a fan and follower of mine. His name is Paul Cavallaro. And uh, I went to the post office yesterday, Friday. I had the day off. I ended up working a couple of double shifts this week, so I took the day off on Friday. Went to the post office and uh, found, a, found a box there waiting for me. Quite to my surprise, I wasn't expecting anything. And Paul sent me this beautifully laser engraved granite plaque. Paul uh, is an auto mechanic, has been following my work for some time, has a, has a um, gasoline engine that he is running on compressed hydrogen and a regulator right now uh, in preparation for uh, being able to produce enough HHO to run it on HHO on demand. Paul is also a entrepreneur and has a small business on the side doing laser engraving of all kinds of things. Uh, rolling pins, even toast. Um, and he does uh, emblems like that and uh, photographs. Very cool stuff. So if you want to check out his work, his website is AmericanLaserWorksLLC.com. So Paul, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. It's a very thoughtful gift. Uh, and it is very, very much appreciated, totally unexpected, really blew me away. Everyone in the family loves it, and I'm just looking for a way now to hang it on the wall. So we'll figure that out later. Anyway, back to the cell. Uh, I've been, uh, last night I, had, uh, I, I did the first run of the bat cell, and I got about uh, 5.87 mmw on my first run. What I had done is I increased my molarity concentration from 0.35 to just about one molar concentration, which is a little over 50 grams per liter of potassium hydroxide in distilled water, and there are one and a half liters of distilled water in the bat cell. Um, once the cell warmed up, I was, I was running at about 150 watts, 11.8 uh, volts at approximately 12 amps and uh, posted 5.92 mmw and I ran that test several times and posted exactly the same results. The cell was operating at 85 degrees Fahrenheit so the knee at which current begins to rise very sharply versus voltage uh, had dropped from approximately 13.8 volts down to uh, 11.6 volts. So when I'm running it at 11.8, 11.9 volts, I'm easily able to draw 15, 20 amps at those, at those lower voltages and increase the voltage efficiency of the cell uh, without increasing the uh, gas temperature output very much. So the MMW readings are very, very real. Uh, 5.92 is the best I was able to post. Once I increased my power input beyond that, uh, power input, I ran power inputs as much as 700 watts. And with a power input of, I think it was 689 watts, exactly 689 watts, I was producing four liters per minute from the cell, which is phenomenal. Uh, those of you who missed it as I was broadcasting live at justin.tv last night, uh, it is available for seven days in the video archive. So justin.tv forward slash zero fossil fuel if you want to go back and take a look at the at the tests that I ran. Very excited about that. Uh, it's almost ready to go back onto the test stand and be run with the Briggs & Stratton engine because of course that's the goal of all of this. We're going to run it with the uh, with the test stand and uh, do some comparative measurements now with a much more efficient cell and prove out the two to one return on investment in terms of energy input to the uh, return on efficiency of the engine. So hopefully now we'll be able to post a net gain. Uh, before I do that, I am going to increase the concentration of the electrolyte 100% again. So we'll go to almost two molar on the electrolyte concentration or close to 100 grams of electrolyte per liter of water. And that's, that's where we'll stop the, uh, stop the test with uh, increasing the concentration of the electrolyte. Very excited though, uh, things are moving along very well. Hopefully this afternoon I will be running the engine on uh, injected HHO from the bat cell. I hope everybody is enjoying the series. If you haven't subscribed to my, to my channel, I hope you will. Uh, 
please be please be aware though that uh, playing around with explosive gases like this is very dangerous and it is not for children. Um, it is it should be treated with the greatest amount of care and you must you must practice uh, safe procedures in the lab to prevent injury. Okay, I uh, want everybody to be safe so um, go ahead and have some fun but please do it safely. So that's it for now. Zero fossil fuel. I hope everybody's having fun. Peace, everyone.